so our question is to find if there exists a path from root node of a binary search tree to any leaf of the binary search tree whose sum is equal to a given number okay so this is the question and let's take an example to understand it so let's see this is a binary search tree so root is 30 and now the path the sum is basically so let's say we have to find a sum 60 so what we do so we come to the root if we travel left and then left it will be 30 plus 10 plus 5 so 45 is the sum here if we go to left then right so it is 30 plus 10 40 plus 20 this is 60 so which is our sum that we desired if we go from 30 to right it is 60 here and then to 40 which is left so we have 60 plus 30 90 plus 40 so 130 is the sum and we have hit the leaf node and similarly this sum is 160 so what we see that we have to find basically a path from the root to some leaf node whose sum of the data of nodes in the path is equal to the given sum so our function will be something like int path sum we are given the root node so node star root and then something like int sum okay so this will be given to us and we have to write some code so whenever it is a binary search tree so we know that okay and we are doing we are basically searching all the paths first left then right and at each level what we need to do whatever the sum was now the problem becomes smaller we subtract the data from it and now we have to find that sum so for example if i am at node root node and i wanted to find sum 60 so when i travel this node i have already collected 30 so now the next sum that i have to calculate if this is the now the root then the sum that we have to collect is just 30 if i go from here again to this place so let's use a different color so come to this place so node 20 so i have already collected 30 plus 10 so 40 i have collected now i have to collect 20 so if i come here so i get 20 so 40 plus 20 is 60 and then I go left so it's a null but I have already collected 60 so I have got to the leaf node and my sum is 0 so it means I am done but let's say here if I went to this part so it was 30 already collected then I collected 60 so I am already 90 so in fact I am more than the sum so I am at minus 30 if I go here again so it is minus hundred and I hit the leaf node and I see that okay my sum whatever I wanted to collect I have exceeded that and I have not this path doesn't give me the result so we see it's basically a recursion every time we subtract node data from sum and then we travel both the left and right subtrees to find finally that at a leaf node how we hit a sum is equal to 0 or sub sum so let's see the code so we have int path sum we say and struct node star root node which is we pass the root first and then it will call itself recursively and we give it a sum that needs to be found if there is a path from root to leaf node which has a sum of data equal to sum so what happens let's see and understand the code okay so what happens here is if node is null so if i have come here and if my sum is zero i have already collected everything then i'm done i should return a one but if sum is not equal to zero if i have exceeded it it will be something negative if i have not exceeded then it will be something positive but it will not be zero so here this is the base case 
and else what happens i subtract the node data from the sum which is if i have already traveled this so i have got that much data and i will subtract it from the original sum and then what i do i return path sum node left so i do in the recursively node left and sub sum that is i have already got that much node data so i will subtract it from sum and it will be me my new problem kind of divide and conquer and path sum node right and again sub sum i am now making my search space smaller as well as the sub sum is now decreased so let's try to dry run this for path sum root comma 90 so what will happen let's see so it will first path sum root comma 90 it will come here okay so we have what a 40 here so let's see so we have 40 and it, this is called path sum so this is the first recursive call from main and what will happen this will in turn call so sub sum will be what sub sum will be 90 which is the sum minus node data which is 40 so now we are left only to get 50 which is the sub sum and it will call path sum so node 20 comma 50 or path sum node 60 comma 50 which is the sub sum okay so let's concentrate on the left path first so we see now so next it will call it is here so now what will be the sub sum so sub sum is now 50 minus 20 which is the node data so 30 so now in turn it will call path sum node 10 comma 30 or path sum node 30 comma 30 okay so let's see what happens here let's see this one left child first so it will call path sum node which is 10 comma 30 so now sub sum will be equal to 30 minus 10 which is 20 and now it comes here it will call path sum null comma 20 and similarly for the right child also so what will happen if node is equal to null but sum is not zero it will return a false so this path will return a false but what happens here path sum n30 comma 30 so now what will happen is that sub sum here will be equal to zero okay and what happens next it will call path sum null comma zero so it will call here path sum null comma zero here also path sum null comma zero and this will return now sum is zero it will return a one so this returns a one here so this becomes one and so this is a path we found out which has sum of 90 that's what we got it will also go to the right child here and it will see that okay the sum is not null when it comes here it in fact it is 80 plus 60 140 plus 40 180 minus 90 so it will be a minus 90 here so it will return a zero so but basically we got one path which is this one okay so this solves our problem of if a path has sum from root to leaf node which is equal to a given sum s so i hope you understand this lecture and the problem and if you like this video so please subscribe to my youtube channel and share about my channel with your friends on facebook thanks a lot